It's beer o'clock on Me Little Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Anne's Batch and Hob Day from London. I love this brewery, I really do. This for me, or this brewery for me, are one of the breweries in the UK where you can say, do you know what, this, this represents true craft. This brewery looks back into the past. They look forward into the future. They're producing every style of beer thinkable that we know of to man this is their eighth anniversary beer it's called eight candles fantastic name fantastic name probably their ninth and their tenth will be nine candles ten candles what a lovely name for their anniversary beer this is a ma uh, sorry a roche beer this is a Ronge beer, it's a smoked beer at 6.8% ABV, brewed with Ronge malt. So when we say Ronge malt, it means smoked malt. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. They're part, or I believe they're part of the, the Bermonte beer mile. So if you ever in London is it's something I must do it's something I must do is the, is the Bermondsey beer mile I'd love to have a few days in London where I well we're going to cover it we are definitely going to cover London with our craft beer in series um, but I reckon it's going to take three days <laughs> I really do I'm already thinking to myself you know that's going to be three days I'm going to have to like book hotels and train travel and it's not going to be an easy task London um, I'm probably going to have to get somebody local to help me out to do London although although I, I, I drank with my mate years ago uh, from from Leeds um, Hopsine Rob from Hopsine and he was terrific he was like, we were ducking in underground stations, ducking up. We were going to all of these fantastic craft beer bars, the ones that everybody wants to drink at in London. And he just seemed to know where everything was. And, and, and this bloke was from Leeds. So I'm sure if I did plan it, I'm sure if I did plan it properly, I could do it myself. But for me, oh, it's, it's, it's just such a maze. In my mind, it's like a muddle. How do you navigate London into a into a craft beer in London video? How do you even begin to navigate that process? Comment in the comments box if you've got any kind of help or information or, you know, how to do it. Where to go would be an interesting one, wouldn't it? Then comment, yeah, in the comments box. But for now, we're going to concentrate on Anne's Batch and Hob Day's 8th anniversary Smoked Rouge beer. Uh, good levels of carbonation. Uh, very small, one finger, white head. Good. Let's get the aroma. Uh, it's amber, slightly hazy amber in colour. Oh, smoky, smoky, very smoky. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is terrific. I mean, in terms of. If you handed me this glass of beer and said, you're drinking an, an authentic German Rorsch beer, then I'd stick my nose in like this and I'd go, yeah, I probably am. I probably am drinking an authentic German beer. And I think that's the attitude that you need to take with beers like this, is that if it's calling itself a Rorsch beer, a German smoked beer is it a German smoked beer and quite clearly yeah the aroma is definitely it's really quite smoky almost smoked bacon smoked German aged sausages you know that quite meaty Smells fantastic, absolutely fantastic. 
Let's dive in. Vani vanilla. So much going on. Cheers, everybody. Wow. Whoa. 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 Wow. That is smoked. Smoked beer. I went to Barcelona a few years ago and we were taken to a, a sausage shop where they were literally, you walk in through the door and you'd see sausages hanging everywhere. And then we went upstairs and there were sausages hanging everywhere. And then we went to the second floor and yes, surprise, surprise, there were sausages hanging everywhere, aging, doing that whole aging thing. And it's like, smelling and tasting that very experience of, of of walking into that Barcelona aging smoking sausage shop it's just terrific it really is may not sound terrific to you if you've not had a ranch beer or if you've not had any, had any kind of German smoked beer but take my word for it try a ranch beer they're quite spectacular very malty very spicy, peppery, smoky, bitter, bit of vanilla, very meaty, very sausage and bacon-like. But yeah, it's good. It's really good. Oh, it's fabulous. Fabulous. They... I've almost forgotten that this is a British brewery, a London brewery, producing this, this ranch beer. So how do they do it? Right. I can only give you my understanding as, uh, from what I've seen in Polish brewing. I went to Zivic, the Zivic brewery. Uh, it's quite near... I got, I got Wrocław in my head. It's not Wrocław. It's the it's the capital of, of Poland. Um, it'll come to me. Krakow. Kra it just comes to me. Uh, it, it's quite near Krakow. Uh, Zivic is a town. I think it's just north of Krakow. Um, but I went there on a for a beer festival in Poland about eight years ago. And I was walking around the festival. With, with a couple of other beer bloggers and an old Brains brewer who worked for Brains. Um, he, he actually invented Rev James. If, if you've ever tasted Rev James, um, it was created by Don Jeffrey. And Don Jeffrey said to me, he was at this festival, he said to me, come with me, come with me. I want to, I want to teach you something. And of course, I'm all up for learning. Of course, in this beer industry, it's an endless learning process. I'm still learning now. I will never stop learning when it comes to beer. So Don pulled me, pulled me, and we had to go up this little kind of lane. And I was like, where are we off now, Don? Where are we going? He's found it. I was thinking, Don's found this little bar around the corner. We're going to go and get drunk somewhere. But no, it wasn't. It was, they were smoking. We went up this lane and, and, and around the corner, and they were smoking malt. And it was literally... The, it was a process, they were dressed traditionally, they had their aprons on, um, they had big gloves on so they didn't burn themselves, you know, the ones, the gloves, used to leather gloves that come down to your elbows. And they were smoking malt over this great big machine. It was like, the best way I can describe it, if you ever go to like a Premier Inn for breakfast and you've got those toast machines in the Premier Inn where you feed your toast in, and it goes over a little tiny conveyor belt thing and it passes under heat. And by the time it comes and drops down the bottom, you've got some toast. It's a similar process where, I mean, very in, in very basic terms, where they pass malt along a conveyor belt where there's fire and heat and smoke and, and, and the malt passes through all of that. And of course, it comes through smoke, smoked on the other end. Um, 
that's probably more for stout and porter. That's roasting the malt for stout and porter. It's probably a very similar process for smoking malt. It's probably very, very similar. So yeah, they were roasting malt there. I, I imagine the smoking process for malt is quite a similar process. But comment in the comments box if you know the real way <laughs> of, of smoking malt. Um, I just realised at the last minute there, as I was telling you that story, yeah, they, they were roasting malt, not smoking malt. But I imagine it's, it's quite the same. This is good. This is very, very good. Very, very good. Um, I'm going to read out the back of the can. Smoked beer has always been close to our heart. Indeed, the smoke... Brown was one of the three beers we launched the brewery with eight years ago. Wow, wow. Um, eight Candles is a celebration of this broad, rich family of beers and marks our eighth birthday. A simple malt bill compromising 100% German smoked malt was boiled for eight hours, then fermented and matured in tank for eight weeks. A cold, clean lager fermentation allows all the smoke malt character to shine through, balanced out by a touch of sweetness and leading to a crisp, dry finish. 6.8% ABV, three beers that they launched. The launch of the brewery was, uh, and one of the beers was called a smoke brown. That shows you all the way back then, all the way back then, eight years ago, when this brewery launched, that they were willing to do things differently. They didn't want to become just another IPA brewer. And I don't mean any disrespect to all of the IPA brewers out there. Stop your typing right now. Comment in the comments box. I mean it with just as respect for this brewery. The fact that they went and done something different. They wanted to be a point of difference is enough for me. It's enough for me to make me want to try their beer. You will always find something different from Anne's Batch and Hob Day. Old ales, lagers, Hefeweizens, smoked beers. There's so much coming from this brewery. I like this smoked beer enough. This is, this is just tastes like a traditional German smoked beer. It's terrific. I like it enough to give it a Stone of the Crows, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!